for the men's 110 hurdles final. Colin Jackson, the great European and world exponent, holds that championship record. Well, we had a qualifying round and then we saw semi-finals earlier today for the hurdles with some uh, interesting results there. And there is the lineup. Zikie, Trashkovic, Belosian, Baji, Pozzi, Bascu, Manga and Contreras. Bascu, the fastest in the field, 13.20 this year. He will be the favourite. But there's not much to choose between the top men. There we are looking at the French athlete there, one of uh, three in this lineup. Martineau Lagarde not competing in these championships. What a strong squad of French hurdlers they have. Baji, who equaled his own Hungarian record in the semi final, running 13.29. So from the inside, this man's made a huge improvement this year. Damian Sekia, the 23 year old Polish champion. Then we have Milan Traskovic, who took his national Cypriot record from 13.55 to 13.39 in uh, qualifying round. Willem Belosian, European junior champion in 2013 and the world junior champion a year after that. He equaled his personal best at 13.28. Baji, a Hungarian, in lane five. Now Dimitri Bascu in lane seven. But that means that Andrew Pozzi, who is due to go inside him and look really good in the semi, is a non-starter. Let's hope there's no serious problems because he's had so many injuries. Anyway, he doesn't take part here. Aurel Mangar of France is in eight. He's improved to 13.33 this year. And uh, Yidiel Contreras, former Cuban, been living in Spain since uh, 2012. And he's got a best last year of 13.35. Two Frenchmen in the seven and line up here with Pozzi and on starter. Bascu and Belossian, their top men. And they were the fastest in the semi finals. Zikir in two, Trashkovic in three, Belossian four, Baji five, Bascu seven, Manga eight, and Contreras in lane nine. The men's 110 meter hurdles final. Well, away they go, certainly the two Frenchmen are well away, Bascu and Velocian with Baji in the middle, those three going clear at the moment, Baji coming through though, and Baji and Bascu, I think Bascu may just have got it, but it was so close with Baji behind him and Velocian taking the third, 13.25 there, what a finish. What a finish, because it looked like that surge by Baji was taking through. But in the end, Bascu, who was disqualified after taking the bronze medal two years ago, is the European champion this time. And the reason why he was disqualified is because he impeded this man, Balash Baji. So the pair have got history, but there's a big hug there. There's no recriminations from what happened two years ago. Well, that was a... Terrific race, but Bascu, yes, did come into it as the favourite, and in athletics parlance, he did deliver. Oh, Baji will be delighted with his run because he's got another Hungarian record out of it too. He's shaded another hundredth off at 13.28. And Velocian making it two medals for France. Here's the finish here. Look at this. At this point, Baji's got it, but Bascu is obviously so determined in that run-in. Here he comes. Dipping best of all. There's the photo. Bascu, Baji, Velocian. Fairly clearly separated in the end, although they weren't with about 10 or 20 metres to go. No, Bascu is so strong over the run in and over the final two flights. Next up, discus recorders, Milanov Malachowski. Well, he's such a talent, is Balash Baji. Hasn't always shown it at the top competitions, but he's 
rewarded with a silver medal and a national record here. Dimitri Bascu takes the gold medal with 13.25. The silver goes to Balas Baji with a national record 13.28. And the bronze to Willem Velocity.